Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I haven't shared a full Acrogel tutorial with you before. This is a type of overlay that's a hybrid between acrylic, gel, and dip, and it's one of my favorite ways to give my nails some extra strength. So let's jump right into it. I love to use this dual-sided cuticle tool to file the perimeter of my nail beds before applying any product. Roughing up the nail surface is crucial if you want your manicure to last, however, it can be incredibly damaging. So I've found that filing the edges of the nail instead of the entire nail surface has always been an effective compromise for me, and this gentle tool makes it incredibly easy to do so. Once the nails are prepped, brush them with the pH bond to help dehydrate the nail, remove any dust, and prepare them for polish. If you don't have this product, rubbing alcohol works just as well. From here, you're going to grab your gel base coat. I personally love gelish products, and I'm gonna use their foundation base for this Acrogel manicure. Carefully paint a fairly thin base coat onto each nail. You wanna get as close to the cuticle and edge of the nail without touching the skin. If you do happen to get any of the gel onto the skin, you can clean it up with one of your clean nails or an orange stick. Once all of the nails are painted, grab your acrylic powder. You can use clear, white, or the color of your choice. This is a bubble bath pink from the ASP Quick Dip Kit. I filmed an entire video testing this system a few years ago. Spoiler, I didn't love it, but I do still use the powder in this fashion. Carefully dip each nail into the acrylic powder until it is entirely coated. Remember that the gel polish is still wet, so you don't want your nails to hit anything right now, especially the edge of the jar. If my nails are still looking a little wet after they've been dipped, I'll usually dip them them once more to ensure enough powder soaks into the gel. Once they look dry, go ahead and cure them under your UV or LED lamp, whichever lamp you usually use with your gel. If you don't have a lamp, I'll link one of my favorites below. After curing, the nails should be completely dry. Brush off any loose acrylic powder and lightly smooth out the surface with a fine grit buffing cube. When they feel smooth to the touch, you'll want to wash your hands or use a damp towel to remove any additional debris that's on your nails. You can stop here if one coat of Acrogel feels sufficient or proceed with a regular manicure, a gel manicure, or a shiny top coat. I'm actually going to repeat the steps for some added protection since my nails are pretty thin. So I'm painting another thin coat of gelish foundation onto each nail and dipping each finger into the acrylic powder twice before curing again. Once the second coat is cured, brush off the powder, file, or reshape the nails if you want to, and buff down the surface for a smooth finish. I'm gonna wash my hands, apply a cuticle oil, and rock this light pink mani for the week. I absolutely love this method of overlay. It has the pliability of regular gel, but the strength of a poly gel. And listen, do you hear that? This manicure should last anywhere from two to four weeks and it's incredibly easy to remove. A removal video will be live this week. Again, you can leave the Acrogel like this or top it with color. If you do opt for a gel manicure, you can move right into the color since your base is all set. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions, tips, or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!